AR-15s have been done to death, but somehow, in some way, every gun company and its mother is going to find another way to innovate and make Eugene Stoner's original design just a little bit better. The MCX is no different. With no buffer tube, multiple caliber options, and easy suppression, the Sig Sauer successfully made their way into the not-quite-an-AR lineage. Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of the Guns of Tarkov. In this episode, we're going to be going over the Sig Sauer MCX Generation 1 that is seen in Tarkov. The version we see in-game is actually the first-gen MCX and is not the most recent version released to the public. The MCX is a short-stroke gas piston-driven rifle, which allows the rifle to operate without a buffer tube, with a folding stock, and even with the folding stock closed. The rifle was originally advertised as being able to fire in 556, 300 black, and 7.62x39, with the 7.62x39 variant unfortunately being dropped from production later on. The version we see in game is the 300 blackout variant. There are two barrel lengths available in game, the 229mm or 9 inch barrel, and the 171mm or 6.7 inch barrel. Is that you on metal? The 9-inch barrel lines up with the OEM available SBR length, but the 6.7-inch barrel does not line up with the current 5.5-inch MCX Rattler options. This may have been a Gen 1 option though, as I was unable to find the Gen 1 options offered by Six Hour. The blue, uh... While the MCX may not have a very long history, it is another entry into the ever-growing list of guns that are improvements on the 5.56 fighting rifle, but to discredit it as a fantastic rifle would be an insult to the company that works so hard to create it. SIG is known for quality firearms, and this weapon is no different. While the Gen 1s were plagued with a few issues with the bolt carriers and small profile barrels, SIG was quick to redesign and come out with an impressive and capable Gen 2 rifle that is shown to perform time and time again. Got him. While we don't have the Gen 2 in Tarkov, we still get a chance to play with this fantastic and aesthetically pleasing weapon. And for that, we thank Nikita and the BSG boys. Yeah. 